The Philadelphia Eagles head to the nation's capital on Saturday to face their division rival Redskins. Philadelphia a 7.5 point favorite on BetDAC, 50 the total in this game. Now the Eagles have been much better than the Redskins this season. Philly currently sitting at 9-5, and five, just a game out of first in the NFC East. Washington on the other hand, 3-11, and 11. they have lost 6 straight games. But back in week 3, the Redskins went up to Philadelphia and gave the Eagles a good fight before losing 37-34. to 34. However, I'm not sure how much we can take from that game when you consider that that game featured over 750 combined passing yards from quarterbacks Nick Foles and Kirk Cousins, neither of whom will be playing this time around. Both of these teams facing questions at the quarterback position right now. The Redskins have been forced to turn back to Robert Griffin III after Colt McCoy was placed on IR. Now, we all know the story with Griffin, all the talent in the world, but he has not looked good in Jay Gruden's offense, and Gruden has publicly criticized Griffin to the media this season. So a little bit of an awkward situation right now in Washington, them having to turn back to Griffin. But I do have faith that RG3 is going to put his best foot forward in this game, and he certainly has every opportunity for success against a Philadelphia defense that ranks 28th against the pass. Now, the Eagles have their own quarterback issues. They've been forced to go with Mark Sanchez after Nick Foles broke his collarbone over a month ago. And even though Sanchez played a couple of good games there a few weeks back, over the last two weeks he has really struggled. The Eagles have lost two straight games. Sanchez starting to resemble the guy who was run out of New York. So Eagles fans rightfully asking right now whether or not Mark Sanchez can lead them into the playoffs. Now, Sanchez going up against a very underrated Washington defense here. The Redskins, 10th in total defense. They're especially good against the run, 7th against the run. So I think it's going to be up to Sanchez. I think the Eagles are going to have to throw the football to really have success on offense in this game. And again, based on what we've seen out of Mark Sanchez over the past couple of weeks, not sure I'm ready to trust him on the road as a 7.5 point favorite against a defense that, as I said, has been very underrated this season. Now, Philly has not been playing good defense, especially lately. The Eagles now rank 27th in total defense, 28th against the pass. So even though the Redskins' offense has been sputtering, I don't know if they ever are going to get it going here. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, Robert Griffin III has every opportunity for success in this game. Look, you might be able to tell where I'm leaning here. I think 7.5 points might be too many. Now, I realize the Eagles have everything to play for here, and the Redskins have basically nothing to play for, and the Redskins have lost six straight games. But I tell you what, don't like what I'm seeing out of this Eagles offense over the past couple of weeks. The Washington defense certainly has not laid down and quit yet. At home, I think they're going to put up a good fight here. As I said, I think 7.5 points just too many. I do expect the Eagles to win this game, but I think it might be closer than some people think. Washington plus 7.5, my recommendation here. I would also look at under 50.